But when you start killing off the country's culture systematically and killing mm -hmm. off bedrock principles and truth and ejecting God and those things, then, yeah, you probably do need to start thinking in terms of, man, really bad stuff's going to happen. We need to figure it out. Uh, yes, training for teachers, uh, arming teachers. Uh, I had some friends uh, in law enforcement there who got into law enforcement because they were teachers mm. and uh, they wanted to become uh, deputies where they could carry in school and carry they did. Uh, and some of them went on to went on to law enforcement full time and and loved it. But yes, arming teachers, um, that doesn't mean you have to force every teacher no. to be armed. Um, but man, give them, give them some kind of resources. This idea that we're going to cower and hide and just hope that the person goes away, that the shooter goes away and that law enforcement gets there quickly because it's, I think it's 90 something percent of the time the shooter suicides when he hears law enforcement yeah. show up. This idea, just hoping for that is, uh, I mean, that's pie in the sky. That's you, you don't. You don't uh, bet your life yeah. on something like that. You arm responsible people, and they have to. Th that is what's just unbelievably amazing about all of this. You talk about a group of people that infantilizes human beings, the left. Yes. What in the world would make someone think that life is such that you shouldn't have to fight for your life? It's a shame that we have to fight for our lives, but that is characteristic of life. Yeah. <laughs> that it is fragile and we have to fight for it. And you better be the hell ready to fight for it. And these, these holier than thou leftists think for some reason they're above that. Oh, I, we shouldn't have to fight for our life. Yeah. Well, you're right. We shouldn't. <laughs> no. It would be great if we didn't. But we do. That's the nature of life. That's the nature of either being fallen or it's the nature of evolution. Take your pick. Either one of them. That's the nature of life. We have got to grow up, Start. stop acting like four-year-olds playing house and say, you know what? Bad things happen. There are monsters out there. I may run into one of those monsters one day. And God help me, I may run into one of those monsters when I'm in a class full of kids. I'm, I'm charged with protecting. I better toughen the hell up and be ready. But that is not that is not at all the response. The response is so opposite of that. The response is to cower, to fear. We'll see if we can disarm the monsters. Look, disarming the monster doesn't make the monster go away. Yeah. He just finds other methods. If you go to westernjournal.com a little bit later today, you're going to see a story about a mass shooting in Norway. But it wasn't a mass shooting with guns. It was with a bow and arrow mm. and with a knife. Five people died. You can't kill monsters by just taking guns out of their hands. They are still out there, and they are still coming to hurt people, and you better toughen the hell up. You cannot legislate the evil out of people's hearts, you but you can protect yourself yes. against it. Yes, and, and that is life. As yes. Everything in life yes. tells us that. The entire – the whole written history of humanity – tells us that yes. why would we be so stupid as to believe that suddenly oh well we shouldn't have to protect ourselves yeah there's, a, there's no reason for that at all and and every single it's a lie it's a lie, lie. from lying. the left yes. it is a lie from the left They're that evil. oh you shouldn't have to do this it is an evil lie from the left and it, and it is really hard to see where the lie stop where the ignorance stops and the lie begins mm. Because some amount of this is ignorance. They have been taught in colleges and in graduate schools that everything is environmental. And if you just put people in a good environment, yeah. man, they will be saints. That is not the truth. Um, it is absolutely not the truth. You can take people who were born in fantastic environments, had everything handed to them, had a silver spoon in their mouths, and they turned into wretched, horrible monsters. Mm -hmm. And you can take people who grew up in absolutely horrible conditions and turned into incredible people. The nature of life is that it is fragile, it is fleeting, and there are people out there who are coming to take it. You better be ready. And the left tells you you shouldn't have to do that. Do not listen to them. They will get you killed. I mean, how many times, and it's horrific, and the teachers who do this are really brave, we've seen shootings where people throw themselves in front of other human beings yeah. to stop bullets from, yeah. from killing. I mean, imagine if teachers could just arm themselves. And by the way, Every single law that the left wants to pass mm -hmm. nationwide has been tested and failed in every major blue city 
in America. Oh. Chicago. More Americans died in Chicago last weekend than were killed in the Texas school no. shooting yesterday. You don't hear a word from them. No. The the laws failed there. Oh, they're all and black. Nationwide. They're, yes. They're all black. And, and is, they can't use it for political gain. Yep. Yep. The When you look at the racial breakdown on urban violence like that, it is overwhelmingly black. Yep. I believe most of the children involved in this were, were white or Hispanic. Hispanic. Um, uh, some of them Border Patrol agent kids, so, too. Oh God, Just sure. terrible. Um, yeah. So, the, look, folks, the thing is, not, it's not about protecting kids. If it were about that, it you know they would be all over Chicago. They would be all mm -hmm. over New York. They would all be they would be all over these places where horrible things are happening to to kids and particularly to urban youth. It's not about that. It is about having control. It yes. is about taking responsibility away from people. It is about infantilizing people. That's how you get to this situation where a teacher would think, ooh, a gun, I don't want to have that in my yeah. classroom. It's infantilization. Why don't you want that? Why in, why in the world would you not want the ability to protect your students? Yeah. Are, are, are you that infantilized mm -hmm. that you're afraid of the, the one device that can actually put you on even ground with a shooter? I, I, what world are these people living in? It is a fantasy world. Democrats do not care about your kids. They want to use kids to elicit yep. an emotional response all for political yeah. gain yeah. and power. Yeah, and, and it's an anti yes. and it is an anti-gun agenda. Yes. It, it's I mean clearly that's what it is. It is an anti-gun agenda. That's the reason that they're not interested in actually fixing these things. If they were interested in fixing them, yeah, armed guards, police substations in schools, um, better design schools, mm -hmm. armed teachers, all of those things. They're not interested in those things, folks. And in fact, you remember what they did a couple of years ago? Ilan Omar, no, oh, yeah, Elizabeth Warren. They voted to defund police in schools. These <sighs> people are complete and utter frauds. You want to talk about evil? Those are two leaders in the Democrat Party who voted to defund law enforcement in schools on a federal level.